This is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's video, we have a bit of a quick win showing how we can output to the, the Playwright UI Watch tool or to Playwright's Trace Viewer. This was a question I had recently, and I thought this would make such a, a good video to show how we can do this. So before we jump into it, all the code I have set up here is available from my GitHub, so I'll put a link in the description to the repository. You can clone that down and follow along with me as well. Let's open Playwright's UI tool. So npx playwright test hyphen hyphen UI in the terminal and hit enter. You should now see that the UI has opened and we're gonna focus on this test today inside the group two example.spec.ts. And let's just execute this for now. And we can see everything's run through work and as expected. However, what I wanna be able to do is have a console output log here where I can see it in this actions tab. I can click on it, go to console and see some output. So let's have a look how we can do this. Let's go back to our test and Terra, we'll just output a static string first and then we'll show you how to utilize it with Playwright's ability to grab text content and anything else. So we'll do it directly after we've done this input. And what we can see is await page.evaluate. And then we need to say there's no pram, does we create our callback function in here? And we'll just put console.log and I'll just put subscribe and hit save. Let's go back to the UI tool. I have watch mode enabled, so it's automatically rerunning it for us. If you don't know what this is, I'll put a link in the description to my UI video, the Playwright UI tool video, which is definitely worth looking at because you'll use this all the time. But back on topic, what we can see in actions now is directly after the fill, which is where we've put it here, you can now see page.evaluate. And if I click this, you can see that subscribe is output. So that's just the basic way. But what if you want to go a step further. Maybe your fill isn't working as expected or you're seeing the wrong information. How could I grab, say, the input value from this? Or how do I grab the text content from any of these? Well, it's quite simple to do. What we can say is let's create a new locator. So we'll say It'll be the exact same as this actually, but we're just gonna get the input text from it instead. So we can say um, locator dot uh, input value, and this should be what we input to the text box, which would be product two. And then I wanna output this input value into here. So let's create a constant for this. So we'll say const um, val equals this. And then what we have to do is we can pass a val through here and we also need to pass it as the argument after the callback. So we put val here and now we can make use of val inside our page dot evaluate. So we can keep that console log subscribe and we'll also add in console dot log val. So what I'm expecting once I've saved this is the test to run and I'm expecting subscribe to appear and then val, which would be product two to appear. So let's go back to the UI tool. Let's go to page evaluate and you can see here product two has appeared in the console. And this is a really good way to utilize debugging. When you're setting up certain variables, you can then kind of output them here as part of the UI tool and it's all done in one really nice and neat place. Awesome. So I hope that kind of shows you how you can output to the actions tab in the UI tool and trace viewer. Definitely something that will be needed when you debug in. So I thought it was a really good quick win video to share to everyone. As always, if you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated. Thank you for watching.